Hey y'all, this is Jaina back with Fat Fat and all of that. And we are here at the third annual Pass the Ox. And I'm here with Money, Money Beats. Beats. Money Beats. Who just happens to be C Murder's producer. So tell us a little bit about how you first got involved with C Murder. Uh, well, when I first got involved with C Murder, it was actually through my brother T Rhythm. You hear me? And my brother T Rhythm linked up with C. You know, we was making a lot of noise in the city. You know what I'm saying? Our beats was just, it was just ringing to where if it wasn't, you know what I'm saying, somebody else telling C about us, it was another person and another person to where it's like, I got to meet these guys, you hear me? To where then we linked up with C and we hit it off right then and there, you know what I'm saying? And shit, we just been cooking up since, you know, and uh, we got more stuff on the way, but I did penitentiary chances. You know, me and my brother did the whole album, no other producer, and it felt good to actually, you know, control the whole album versus having a bunch of other random producers on there or whatever, you know what I'm saying? So, shout out to C Murder for that one, you hear me? I appreciate that love. And then, just everything, a little after like 2009, we just been working, you know what I'm saying? And been getting it, you know? And we even had a beat, beat album that C Murder, he uh he uh he was like the presented it or whatever you know it said presented by C Murder and it was 20 beats uh, instrumental album you know what I'm saying but that was back in the day you know we didn't really distribute it like talking about but you know what I'm saying we played around and just did what we did you heard me you know? so tell me this to us for us um, C Murder is like a legend in a city you know what I mean um, so you know I've been hearing about C Murder since I was a very little girl so and I'm 30 so go ahead and tell me how does it feel to be a part of his legacy. Uh, it feels really good and it feels like family, you know what I'm saying? Like, see, she's a really good guy, you know what I'm saying? He has a big heart, you know, and, uh, you know, some people know C just from his music, but I know C more than just music and, you know what I'm saying? He's, he's real, you hear me? You know what I'm saying? He's real. And I'll tell you one thing, like, you know, he'll even send, like, Thanksgiving cards to my mom's house and stuff like that. Like, he'd be like, Happy Thanksgiving, you hear me? Stay true. You know what I'm saying? I'd be like, what? But, you know, it's real. You know what I'm saying? He's a family man, you know, and he needs to be home with his family. Yeah, I was just about to ask about that. So knowing the personal side of C-Murder the way you do, um, how does it feel knowing that, you know, he's behind bars and there is a chance that, you know, the outcome may not be what we're hoping is going to be with the free, free C murder challenge. I mean, it, it hurts. It hurts to see the way the system is and how they can just take a person and remove them from their family and everything and just, you know what I'm saying, hold them and you try to do everything you can and they just they just keep you, you know what I'm saying? Like that that you already know that ain't right, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? That 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 worked me up, you know what I'm saying? And it's it's really hard to go through that because I'm even going through that, you know what I'm saying, on other matters as well. You know how the system is, you know what I'm saying? So Freecy murder, man. He need to be home with his family. You know, they, they took a lot of time out of his life and he need to be back ASAP. You know what I'm saying? So tell me what's coming up new for him and music and what y'all got cooking. Anything new? Um yeah, yeah, I got I got this whole next album on my computer, you hear me, like, and, and, and more, you know what I'm talking about, and we got some stuff cooking, it's just been a lot with the, the legal, you know what I'm saying, matters and stuff like that, we've just been really working on getting him out, you know what I'm saying, and that's what the whole Free C Murder Challenge is about, we're trying to bring awareness and get people on board, you know what I'm saying, and everything, you know, because the witnesses already been like, look, they felt pressured, and all that stuff and they said what they said but they you know what I'm saying they know in their heart that that wouldn't what went down so then they like look it didn't happen she didn't do it you know what I'm saying on that level but as far as what I got coming up right now I have a song I like to promote it's called Sundays in New Orleans it's for the city it's for y'all you heard me and I did the beat and my boy Jay Lyric is the artist be looking out for it, it has that bounce feel to it but it has that commercialness to where it could go nationwide too. You know what I'm saying? On that level. That's what's up. So tell me this. You know, it's been a little while since since he's been away. Um, you know, we're praying that he, he comes home. If he does, a lot has changed in the industry. A lot has changed with social media and stuff. Do you think he'll have an issue transitioning into this, this, this new world that we live in now? Or do you think everything will be okay? 
He's going to do a great job. Like, see, one thing I know about C, he don't just stay stuck in one era. I see him moving around like as far as he knows how to switch it up. Trust me, he knows how to, I heard all the next stuff he got going on. And he doesn't switch it up. Like, don't think he's going to come with that same stuff he was coming with before. He doesn't switch it up, you heard me. I got it in my computer right now. You know, he, he's keeping up with the times and he's still staying Steve, at the same time, he's still staying the same, still keeping it real, you know what I'm saying? He still see murder, regardless, you know. That's what's up. Let's let the people know where they can find you. Um, Instagram's my best uh, platform as far as, you know, I got Buku Beats on there. My IG is Sound Trends LLC, you know what I'm saying? So that's Sound Trends, like you set in trends, LLC, like a company, you hear me, you know. <laughs> Thank you so much for your time and for your interview. Keep it locked. We're coming right back with more Fat Fat and all of that.